All right, everybody, we are here at the Asham Mall. They're having some kind of comic and collectibles type show inside the mall. It is Ashland, Kentucky. Uh, just got off work, just finished doing my daily Bible reading. Uh, but we are going to see what they might have in there. See if I might get lucky to find a major blood classified figure. That's one of the things I'm looking for the most. Um, see if we might find some of the new Snake Eyes Origins 3.75 figures or three and three quarter. Um, I've already pre-ordered all those. What else could I be looking for? I'm trying to think. Maybe some of the Marvel three and three quarters that I don't have if they're on unpunched cards. Uh, maybe some Masters of the Universe figures if I see them. Of course, we always look at wrestling, see if we see any AEW, things of that nature. But uh, let's go ahead and head on side. Let's see what we can have because it's getting hot in here. But I'll see you all inside. All right, we are walking in. There's the Ashton Town Center. All right. Batman with the cape. Red tornado. Cards. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Look at that. The turtle. I'd be happier if it was Leo. Really cool. I got that one. It was on the clearance of Walmart. Oh, I'm sorry. Games, pops. This is super cool. Pops. Gold Star Wars. Newer card. I don't know my opinion over seven little while ago. They were historic doing that stuff, yeah. you know, when they went like that. That that did. You know, when I got that card. How's it going? Good. All oh, these are rare. <laughs> it's a hot line, isn't it? Yeah. Neck has really come out of the. They really put themselves up in the conversation on that. They are. If they would produce more. Yeah. That's the only thing. Yeah. And then, like big cities, they might get it. 10 or 12 of them and then our area one or two yeah. <laughs> and, that's, that's the hard part. and everybody around here has to drive further to go to stores that's what I, I collected the movie line and I, and I was behind on the cartoon I just I gave up on the cartoon line. yeah I've thought about getting just the, the movie line of the four turtles is what I've thought about but I haven't started yet because they are so hard to get they're cool to look at though are they ever going to do the April they were talking about? Yeah. Yes. Uh, Judith Hope? Yeah, she, uh, I guess she's been working with them hardcore about it. Because when I was following her whenever she was supposed to come to Huntington, Huntington Comic Con, and then she canceled the week of it. So. Yeah, she's still attractive to me. Yeah. All these years. But she. They released one version, like she'd done a signature on the. Yeah. Uh, 
they did also, she, uh, she mentioned that she had picked like the different face sculpts and everything for it. So, and she said she loves going to Comic Con, so maybe she'll be there next year. But it's hard telling. I've got a few minutes. You're doing okay. Thanks, man. Thank I like you. your shirt, by the way. <laughs> Roy Williams, that's a tiny one. old school. Look at how old that is. I loved those when I was a kid. Look at that Mysterio. Andrade Otis. The sheep. I've already got that. How we doing? Uh, I always love the TNA live shows. Yeah, they, they, they never have gotten their due, I think. No. Their live shows were always better than anybody else's. Yes. Because they cared about the fans. Yeah, they put forth about Yes. They actually showed in the club. You could tell WWE live shows are just practice events. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're there to just do this work and that work. Yeah, to get money, yeah. they sell merch for stars that aren't even at the show. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I remember buying something for my daughter for John Cena and John Cena went on the floor. Yes. <laughs> All right, everybody. We just left the uh, collector show that was set up. Oh my gosh. In five seconds, I had a bigger score than I've had in retail stores in months. I mean, my first ever AEW figure at Walmart, and I walk in today, and I find three that I'm needing, and I get them for 25 bucks each. Crazy. Major blood for only 25 bucks. I'd spend more money in gas driving up to Target to try to find it. Let's see what else they got in them all. Hello. Just looking around at the action figures. All righty. Will there be a red skull? No. Alright, we just left GameStop. Some really cool stuff in there. I got a better score. Hey everybody, we just left the, sorry if you hear the AC, uh, car's been sitting in this hot air, so it's pretty toasty. We just left the collectibles and card show there at the Huntington Mall. 
We'll be coming back here tomorrow for a meet and greet with Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Sorry, he's one of my top five all favorite wrestlers. Uh, I do have that Ricky the Dragon Steamboat Elite I picked up from Amazon, even though the package ain't that great. I'm debating whether to get him signed out or just get a picture. I'm probably going to get a picture. And a picture with him, of course. Definitely want that because he's one of my top five all time favorites. So we'll get a picture with him. I might get that signed too. I, I've never really got any of my figures signed. I don't know why. I just never have done it. So definitely get an autograph photo and then a photo with him. So, but uh, I'm gonna show you what I scored. This was all within actually the very first table I looked at. I walked in food court, come up, and they're just a little you by by J C Penney. It wasn't that real big of a show. But one of the guys that was there, I was pumped because I walked up and seen AEW figures. The, uh, I got Santana. Only $25. And the package is really good. That's the, I mean, I got that one little place where the, the film's coming off the outside of the gold. Right there, that's it. That's all that's going on. But five bucks above retail at a collector show should have been more. Then we got gotta get the brother. We got Ortiz. Looky there, twenty five dollars. These are all from the same guy. Then I got four figures. can't tell if this package the blister is dented in it don't feel like it it almost feels like the card is a little warped but it's got a little ding right there but that's okay because we got Darby Allen and it said $35 on it the truth is, I got all four of these for $100 even. So I only gave 25 bucks for each of these. Retail on everything I got is $19.96 plus tax. Here's the other one. There's a couple little dings on the card, but I have not seen any. So to get it for just $5 above retail, and that's without tax. <laughs> I have friends and family did. He he gave these to me, and I, as a friend, gave him a hundred dollars. Major blood, yeah, that's the one I went in for. I'm pumped. Yes. All right. I'm pumped about that. So, that's what I picked up. They had a bunch of cards. They had some other toys I was kind of interested in, but none that were to this extent because I had already spent a hundred bucks. Anywho, it's stuff that I have driven around looking for. It, our Target, it probably cost me 10 to $15 maybe even 20 up and back and whatever run, other running I would do around while I was up that way where it is 45 minutes from my house and that's if I just go to the Barbersville Walmart so uh, I think it's 45 minutes it might be 40 I don't know it's somewhere around there okay we always stop at more than one place so it's 45 minutes from my house so uh, we've got those we'll probably do some more toy hunts I'm gonna eat some Charlie's Philly steaks I got me a chicken Philly, and then I'm going to go run in Walmart while I'm right here just to see if they have anything, but i uh, see you all later. Have a great one. Bye. God bless. See you soon.